Yeah. All right, buddy. It was good to meet you. Good to meet you too. Cool hat. Take yeah. it easy. I'll see you when I get back. All right. All right. Look at this mess. Welcome to Ontario. This boat is packed to the brim, as you can tell. Only one seat in here. And enough stuff for me to be camping for the next three days. And we're gonna find ourselves a camp spot and be spending the next three, four days out on an island. Solo. This boat's rated for 1,700 pounds and honestly, I don't know if it can fit much more in it. If you can't tell, these waters are a little treacherous. So you can see there's rocks sticking up right there. So we're gonna have to be very careful traveling across this lake. Luckily, I've been here a time or 10, but it doesn't mean that I can't find, uh, find something new. Kind of just scanning the area for a place to camp. You can see we've got shorelines that are very rocky like this and then there's shorelines like this that have sand on them. Now I've got a big fiberglass boat. I need to find a nice sandy shoreline that doesn't have a bunch of rocks that's gonna break my boat. So I'm gonna spend a, a little bit of time here trying to find the perfect campsite. See if we can't find something. What do we have here? This looks nice. Looks nice, but maybe not enough room to set up a tent. All right, so there's a big rock there. It's not very sandy. It's not great for the bottom of a boat. Next, next island. Let's be careful out of here though. Right. I think I found one. Looks nice and sandy. All right. Funny enough, this is a uh, an old fishing spot that I know. We've got a sandy beach. We're on a little island, so don't have to worry too much about wildlife. Now we just got to see if there's like a area that's clear enough, or if I can clear it for the tent. And it looks like. Honestly, right here might not be the worst. I think this is the most level ground that I've found. Should look pretty good for a little campsite. All right, so I just tested it out to see how big the tent's footprint is. I'm lucky because this is sand and I'm gonna be able to work with it a lot nicer than I would be like regular dirt. Um, but I've gotta make myself a nice flat sleeping area so I can be comfortable. Already made it messy. Oh, this is a lot of work solo. 
I got my sealed food bins near the campsite. And then just down the shore, I have uh, some firewood in my non-sealed food. Just in case there's a bear in the area. I don't want him rummaging through our tent. The one thing I am worried about is these guys, seagulls. They might come and have a peck at this, but fingers crossed that that doesn't happen. I did see one absolutely chowing on a crayfish earlier, so that's a good sign for living off of the lake. There are some crayfish around. I brought crayfish traps, so we'll set one of those tonight, but I think it's time to get out in the boat and do some fishing. That's what I came here to do, at least. Seems like a perfect night to catch a muskie. Don't eat my food. He's totally just beelining it over there, isn't he? Is he literally just going right toward the food right now? Bruh. He's like, this is my food now. What's up, dog? What's up? Huh? I mean, it would probably be fine, but probably is not as good as for sure. So we're bringing it with. Yeah. How about that? Welcome to Iceland. This is one of my favorite musky spots on this lake. Today I'm starting off fishing for muskies. Um, I've been fishing muskies for a long time, haven't caught a 50 incher yet. So we're trying to beat a 48 and a quarter. This is a very nice musky lake. Um, I could very well beat my PB this trip. I just did a video in Minnesota where I was musky fishing and I explained what this is, but this is a, uh, a bucktail. So this has two blades on the front of it and they spin when they're in the water. Um, keep your eyes peeled because muskies like to follow in and they might hit right by the boat. So it'd be pretty cool if we got that on camera. Oh, that's a pike. That was a pike. Ooh, squirrely on it. Oh, you just came back for it again. Whoa. It scared the crap out of me. Oh, he got it. Dang it. That's a big pike. Oh, boy. Probably about a 30, 32 incher, 32 inch pike. First fish of the trip, going back home. See you, buddy. I'm going to roast some wings and some onions over the fire. But I need to set my crayfish trap for the night. Because crawfish are way more active in the evening. So my favorite crayfish bait is cat food. All right, so we're going to walk down the shore with our trap. We're going to set it for the night. I think this rock that the seagull found one on. Oh, look at this. There's one right here. Oh my gosh, his shell is so soft. It's probably molting. We'll let him go. That's a good sign. So we're going to take our trap. Take our wood up for cat food. Cut it up a little bit. So the crayfish are going to try to swim up this ramp. And then they're going to get hopefully stuck under here. All right, we'll leave our string right here. For the morning. Oh my gosh, there's a 
Look at all many crayfish there. They're everywhere, dude. There's so many. Ah! Wow, I think we're gonna get a full pot. Hope so, at least. You don't have cat food. Fish guts also make a pretty good <laughs> crayfish bait. But dude, there's so many. Look at here. Oh. All right, not only are the crayfish hungry, but I'm hungry. Bone app the teeth. I think everything has sand in it. Not much to show for today other than a northern pike and this bratwurst. Mm. That's a good glizzy. Alright, night number one is commencing. See you in the morning. Good morning. Beautiful day. Well, my water is boiling for my coffee. Let's check our crowdaddy trap. Nothing? Oh boy. How is that possible? That's crazy. Even though there were so many crayfish out last night, I managed to get none in my trap. So that means that I probably just didn't set it right. Could have been like up at an angle and they couldn't figure out how to get in. But we'll set it for today. That's not a good sign. Not a good way to start our day. I should have kept some last night, I guess, with my hands. Well, looks like we got our work cut out for us today. Everything right now in the tent is full of sand, so I feel like this is the most sanitary place to put in contacts. Definitely gonna make some time for walleye fishing today. I was really expecting to oh, wake up this morning. To oh, wait, to oh, wait. To wake up this morning and uh, see a trap filled with crawdaddies. No such luck. I do have food to survive if I need to, but it's the difference of survival and comfort. I really don't want to be eating plain ramen and wieners the whole trip, so. But I am absolutely amped up on musky fishing right now, so we're gonna start our day off doing that. Luckily, I'm not even gonna say it. We're not gonna say it. Fingers crossed for no rain, please. scared. It looks super big, but would have been a nice way to start. Holy cow. Oh. See, the thing is, why this is funny, is I checked the weather forecast this morning. Not in it. Okay. Well, here we are. I'm not really sure what to do here. I'm probably just gonna sit like this for a while because 
I want to lay down and get my sleeping bag all wet. I'm trying my best to not make water in here, but as you can see, with a $30 tent, you might get what you pay for. We're going to sit and wait this one out for a little bit. I've got a nice little view of the boat just in case stuff starts to go haywire. But we'll just, I'm going to wait it out for like 30 minutes and see what happens. It's over. We survived, yay! I knew we could do it. All right, back to fishing. All right, I've made it through about five musky spots. Looks like we've got more weather coming in today. It's so funny. On my app, it doesn't say anything about rain and it just must be must be accumulating right here so the good news is, is i've got the electronics out of the boat now so i will probably fish through this one as long as there's not electricity coming down lightning but we're gonna go try to catch some walleyes because i'm getting a little nervous for dinner tonight i don't want to eat weenies again totally gonna get dumped on no avoiding it is that lightning did i just see lightning Oh, God. I can't fish out here in lightning, dude. Oh, God. I gotta go, man. That was so close. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull on shore here, but I'm gonna try. This sucks. All right, lightning storms are dangerous when you're on the water. I gotta wait this one out on shore. All right, and 10 minutes later, it's passed and sunny again. That's Canadian weather for you, man. That's crazy. All right, let's make hay while the sun shines. Fish. Got one. Whoa, giant crappie. <laughs> Sweet. All right, one tremendous crappie going in the box. All right, we won't go hungry. Need a couple more of those though, to make a meal. Look, I just had to cast, that's it. Please be a walleye. Walleye! Hey, buddy. Oh, it only took two hours, but there we go. We got a walleye. There we go. That's a nice one. All right, so I need one more walleye to secure the bag, get my limit. Switched over to this little white jigging wrap. It's like a really heavy bait and you twitch it back in. So instead of trolling, like I was trying for the last two hours, I guess they want it casting. So cast it out there, let it sink down to the bottom. And then we just twitch it back in and hope for a fish. There's one. Oh yeah. Nice walleye. Chill, chill, chill. Don't get off. I'm just gonna try not to get hooked here. There we go. Oh! First thing I wanna do before I start cooking is check that crow daddy trap. Oh, that rope got buried. All that weather pushed my trap down. I need to grab a rod to grab it. Should be able to do it with this one. Ooh! I got a couple. Ooh, I got some good ones. I got four. All right, I'll open them up and show you guys. There's another one.
Now I'll need a few more than four to cook them, but it's a good start. Not only do we have delicious crayfish, but we've got a mess a very nice fish for dinner tonight. All nice eaters though. I'm gonna start cleaning some fish. These homies are lurking. What's up boys? I had nice brand new romaine that froze on the way here, so I guess we're just having uh, tartar sauce sandwiches. Scram! Look at the sunset. Sorry boys, not tonight. Well, how about it? Fresh fish sandwiches. Now, do I wish that the lettuce was still with us? Absolutely. But we got some crispy Cajun fish, some tots. We don't even need a vegetable. Mm. Toss some tartar sauce in there. Bon appetit. Holy man, it's hot. And delicious. Here's the crappie. My favorite fish to eat. Mmm. So good, dude. I don't know where I got this breading either, but I like it a lot. It's called like Louisiana style. Now if I could just get these mosquitoes to leave me alone. One last thing I gotta do before bed. Oh, there's a frog. Hi, frog. Oh man, we got a lot more. Holy crow. Oh, it's a big boy. All right, just got the trap reset. If all goes good. We'll have enough for lunch tomorrow. Good night, frog. Good night. Good night. Oh. Very successful day for the uh, weather that we had. I am very happy and my tummy is full. So, oh, this is a good night, a night too. Gosh. 
That'll be a good lunch. Okay, got the boat all packed up, ready to go. Um, the crayfish. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I really don't feel like eating crayfish right now. It's super hot out. Eating hot crayfish right now sounds pretty nasty, so. I mean, we could have such a feast, but I think it's these guys' lucky day. Just about 32 crayfish released back into the wild. These guys try to steal them from me. Now it's time to make the trek home. She's all packed up. No muskies for me today, but it was a great trip. Humbling. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see some more boat content. Until next time, you already know the drill. Just keep on trucking.